Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Sage video. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to account for customer and supply refunds. So money we have sent back to a customer or money that we have received from a supplier. It doesn't matter if you have Sage Instant accounts, Sage 50 accounts, Sage 50 Cloud, the process is going to be exactly the same. So let's start off with customers. So I'll go to the customer module by clicking customers. And for the purpose of this video, just to make things simple or to keep things simple, let's just add a customer. So example, customer one, that's what we'll call this customer. We will click save. So now on my list, I have example customer one. The first thing you need to know about customer refunds is you can only account for a refund on Sage if there is a credit note on the system that is the same amount as the refund amount or that the, or there's a payment on the customer customer's account that hasn't been allocated. So if you have a payment on the customer's account and it's been allocated against invoices, that cannot be refunded. So the only way you can process a refund for a customer on Sage is by raising a credit note and then refunding the amount on that credit note or by a payment that's sitting on their account, a payment on account that hasn't been allocated to any invoices. So with example customer one, if I click on the refund option, which is up here, if I click on refund, if your refund isn't showing, then just right click in this top area and then tick refund. The button should then show. So if I click refund, we choose the bank account the refund is coming from. We bring up the customer's account. So example, customer one, you'll see that nothing is showing. I can't refund any amount because there's nothing showing down here. So what we need to do is either create a payment on account or create a credit note and then refund against that credit note. So if I click on batch credit notes, we'll do something as of today, 16th of February, choose our nominal code. I'm not going to go through this. I'm not going to show you how to add credit notes. You know, this is a whole other video and I'm assuming you know how to record a credit note on Sage. So 500 pound plus VAT is a total 600. Let's call this credit note one, two, three, four, just so it's easier to spot when we do our refund demonstration. We'll save that. If I now go to refund again and go to example customer one, we have our credit note showing and we can simply refund against that credit note. So I click save We have the, the bank account, the date of the refund, the reference, you know, you might want to put backs in here or whatever reference is going to make sense to you at a future time. We'll click save. That has now been accounted for. It just takes a moment to load. And then that has been accounted for. So if we now go to the activity on this customer's account, you can see we have our credit note and our SP sales payment, which is the refund of £600 against this credit note. Now to refund a supplier, it's exactly the same process. So if I just add a supplier very quickly, so we we'll go up here, we do EXA002 perhaps, example supplier2, click save. So here we have example supplier2. The refund option is right here. Once again, if it's not showing, just right click and find it in your list. You might just need to tick it in order for it to show up here. In order to account for the refund, it's the same process. We have to have some sort of credit note or a payment on account. Let's do a payment on account this time. So if we were to record a supply payment, let's say we paid a thousand pounds a few days ago, 13th of February. So we paid a thousand pounds to this supplier as a payment on account. 
I'm not going to go through payments on accounts in this video. That's a totally other thing. You know, if you've got any questions, you can use the comment section below. But we have a thousand pounds as a payment on account. If we now look at their balance, it's minus a thousand, negative a thousand, because there's no invoices against that payment. If we now go to refund, and I put in example supplier two, let's say the refund was received today, we can do a thousand pound refunded against that payment on account. That will allow us to save it. And if we have a look back at that supplier's account, it should now be zero. It just takes a moment to load. They're a bit slow processing refunds. Accounting for refunds is sage. So this is now zero. And if we have a look on the activity on the account, you can see we have our payment on account and our purchase receipt. One debit, one credit. They balance each other out. Hopefully this video has helped. I have loads of free videos on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. That's F R E bookkeeping with two Ks, accounting.com. I can teach you so much about Sage all for free, or just check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. All supporters appreciated. Please like, please leave some kind words below. Please subscribe and check out my website. Thank you.